welcome to the Saturday edition of Box Seat. I'm Adam McGrath and again joined by Mark Olmus. Mark, eight races to take a look at and it looks to be a pretty good card. Yeah, we've got the two listed races in there too, Adam. It looks to be a, a pretty good card this weekend at uh, Ascot. Let's take a look at the conditions that we are going to be faced with. Another warm day in Perth. The Moobal Rail is out six metres, expecting to run on a good three as well. Race one is a community tab plate over 1,000 metres for the two-year-old. Six of the seven have won trials, Mark. Yes, yeah, interesting field for the youngsters here. Our replay horse is going to be Atacama Sky. 400 metres left to go and Atacama Sky for Peter Nucky kicked away around the bend. He opened up three lengths on them. Glow Joe battling on on the inside. Passion is also battling away. Then came Night Beat and over on the outside is destined for fame inside the final 150 metres and Atacama Sky has sprinted away. Atacama Sky is going to bolt in and Atacama Sky comes down, scores by four and a half lengths on the line. Yeah, Atacama Sky, one of those horses that has won the trial. As I said, six out of seven have won trials, and pretty impressively too. It won by five lengths. We've got Our Time Will Come, which we know has won on Saturdays as well as won by five lengths. Another horse, Swift Platinum's won a trial by nine lengths as well over the 400 metres. So we've got a lot of speed in this race. Interesting form line, lines too, Adam. You've got uh, a little bit of race experience and some really good trial form. Atacama Sky, the half-brother by Scandal Keeper to Man Booker, WA Guineas winner. Looks to be really, really smart time. Yeah, and we saw Simon uh, Miller go and buy another relation to this because he's so impressed with what he's got. So I think it's going to be very hard to beat. But as well, we know the race experience, and I think that's where our time will come, will shine. That carries a 57.5 here, has one with 57 kilos, though, and on that occasion, one by two lengths. Yeah, because of because of uh, the record of our time will come, she gets the weight, and but she looks pretty smart. She looks very smart, actually. Interesting to see how she goes first up. Let's take a look at the selections for race number one. I'm going to go with number four, Atacama Sky. From number one, our time will come. Two, Swift Platinum. And three, Chinstrap. Yeah, Adam, I've gone Atacama Sky on top the four as well. From Swift Platinum, the two. From six, No Dust On Me. And the seven, Electric City. Race number two at Ascot, it's over the 1,500 metres and only the six horses to take a look at, but a pretty impressive bunch as well. Yeah, look, there's a few here, Adam. Uh, the two at the top of the weights stand out a little bit. Carry the Nation, Rebel Sun. Rebel Sun's going to be our replay horse from last start where he ran second behind Vengabus. Cougar Express in the straight though, and he goes for home now on Venga Bus, and it got away from them. Rebel Sun continues to run home okay, and then came Cougar Express, Corporate Larrick and Western Blaze and Angola, but Venga Bus is going to notch up another win. Venga Bus has got the hat trick in sight. It's three and a half in front of Rebel Sun, Cougar Express and Angola, and Venga Bus. That's a top win on speed all the way, and it was a hot speed. Strong performance here by Rebel Sun. We mentioned prior to that race that obviously stepping up from the Mungo up sprint over the 1,300 metres was going to suit. The 1,500 metres uh, has a good distance uh, record at the distance as well. Four attempts at the track and distance for a victory in a second. And now gets a two kilo claim as well with Clint Johnson Porter to ride. So just a 56 and a half from Barrier 3 and that Venga bus form certainly looks strong. Yeah, look, Jared Noski gave him a really good run last start and from Barrier 3 he should get a very similar cushy sort of run in behind a few. Uh, then we've got Carry the Nation at the top of the weights with 59. Aaron Mitchell also takes two kilos off there. Third up has been racing quite well this time in for you know an eight-year-old. They can sort of mix their form, the old horses, but he's come back pretty well. And obviously Zarantz there, who will definitely be running on later on in the in the piece. Certainly will carry the nation. My only concern here is it's been scratched a couple of times. So the last run was on the 23rd of January. Has a very good first up and second up record. That second place was, uh, uh, sorry, the win was second up and added to that, making it seven starts for four victories. But now it's been scratched for a while. There's clearly something not right here. Conditions may not suit as well. That may be too far back, but with just the 57 kilos, certainly run well. I take big note that Clint Johnston Porter is riding Rebel Sun and not carry the nation here. I think that's another big lead as well. So very keen to be on Rebel Sun there. Zaranz, you mentioned, William Pike goes on board. This horse will obviously appreciate the extra 100 metres, but I'm still waiting for a bit further, the 2,000 metres plus, but you can guarantee with 54 and a half, Pike won't be too far away. Let's take a look at the selections. I'm going to go with number two, Rebel Sun, from one, Carry the Nation, six, Zaranz, and three, Western Blaze. Yeah, Adam, I've got the six on top, Zaranz. I just think with the lighter weight, uh, he can definitely be there at the end. I've got it on top from the two, Rebel Sun, one, Carry the Nation, and three, Western Blaze. Race number three at Ascot, it's over the 1800 metres and an interesting bunch here because there is some good form lines. We know that Tonto and already famous are racing well. Bayer Torre has been there and about. Sake has been racing well, but for mine, I was able to narrow it to two in this. Yeah, it's a pretty small field and very doable, you know, I think for you as well. Tonto and already famous, the two that 
stick right out at you. They certainly are. The replay that we're going to take a look at is already famous. Last start, flashing home late, finished second behind Coogan Knights. Those form lines should hold up, and we'll take a look at that run now. Coogan Knights is three wide. Tracking up to the outside is already famous. Ram Jam back to the inside. And then Uncle George inside the 250. It's excellently with Coogan Knights. Ignite the sky the inside. Already famous trying to get to Coogan Knights now. Coogan Knights in front. It's holding already famous excellently at bay. Coogan Knights in front. Noski rides hard. And Coogan Knights has got home from already famous. Strong run there by already famous. Again, maybe we get a lead with the jockeys though. William Pike hops off, rides Tonto. And Tonto is a very different horse when William Pike is riding. He gets that turn of foot out of it. 1,800 metres, a big step up from the 14. I think it's a big positive, but I really do think it's going to be between these two. Absolutely flew home last start, Tonto. Yeah, if you didn't see it, you were blind. So uh, it should be, he should be right there at the end. Barrier one's a little bit of a concern. Might get locked away there for a little bit. We'll see how good his turn of foot is, though, here today, uh, on Saturday. Certainly going to be an interesting race. Let's take a look at the selections. I'm going to go with number two, Tonto, appreciating that step up in distance. From three, already famous, number seven, Seiko, which will attack the line strongly, and four, Bayatorio. Yeah, for me, Adam, I've put the three already famous on top. I'm just a bit worried about Tonto getting locked away behind the leaders in there. Uh, I've got, got him second, though, Tonto, the two. From the seven, Seiko. From four, Bayatorio. Race number four at Ascot, it is the listed detonator stakes that's over the 1800 metres. Probably a little bit light on compared to usual years. I guess having the other 1800 metre event where some of the horses were double nominated doesn't help. But looking forward to seeing the lights of Cougar Knights and Badamajo go head to head. Yeah, they're the two that stick out, Adam. Badamajo has the really good form lines from the summertime and Cougar Knights has been racing really, really well. That's the replay that we're going to take at, uh, look at here is Cougar Knights, a winner last start beating already famous. And we took a look at that the previous run. So now let's focus on the winner. Cougar Knights is three wide. Tracking up to the outside is already famous. Ram Jam back to the inside. And then Uncle George inside the 250. It's excellently with Cougar Knights. Ignite the sky the inside. Already famous trying to get to Cougar Knights now. Cougar Knights in front. It's holding already famous excellently at bay. Cougar Knights in front. Noski rides hard. And Cougar Knights has got home from already famous. Strong run there by Cougar Knights. Was given all of the favours from Barrier 4. Has drawn perfectly the last two runs. 2, 4, and gets a nice barrier here again, Barrier 1. I know some horses wouldn't want to be there, but Cougar Knights can roll forward, get into that lovely position, and we saw the turn of foot as well. So I'm expecting a really good run by Cougar Knights. Yeah, get a really soft run from there. Uh, but Damajo as well, she'll sit back after a little freshen up, back to 1,800 metres from the Perth Cup. And, you know, Silver Plate had ran on really well, and second up here, his record's excellent. Three starts two wins and a placing. Be there at the finish as well. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see, but Damage, as you mentioned, hasn't run since the Perth Cup. Before that, of course, won the listed ATA stakes over the 2,200 metres. Was a winner two starts before that as well. 54 and a half kilos. If she's fresh and ready to go and has been working well at the track, she is going to be very hard to beat. She'll roll out in front and make sure this field doesn't get an even break. And Silver Plater will probably appreciate that speed in the race. Does get back and run on strongly. It had its chance last start, it has to be noted, against King of Wu. Was carrying the 59 kilos there. So it drops to the 55, which is a bonus. As you mentioned a really good second up effort amazing this nine-year-old's only had the 13 career starts but has to come into calculations as well let's take a look at the selections i'm going to go with number eight badamajo on top from three cougar knight seven silver plated and six demuro yeah i've got badamajo on top as well adam i think uh, that form in the summertime is just too good to overlook i've got badamajo ahead of the three cougar knights from seven silver plated and one angola